let's say that there were a case where the person um, was using a starring role in a movie to to offer penance for having done serial killing. Now, now that's a very interesting thought process that by uh, admitting, like playing the role in front of the public of, or in front of other people of having been that, they are absolved of that. And it, it reminds me of a case I ran into some years ago um, where a person um, murdered a woman for money for the group that they were in and then went to the person in charge of that group and said, look what I've done. And as penitents, that person assigned uh, that they should publish uh, like a biography or cur curriculum visa online that indicated that they were looking for a job as an assassin. So assassin was indicated as their like career choice. and. And the person in charge said they had to leave that online for a month. And I don't know what, what is that? Uh, public humiliation or as a way of making up for a capital offense. I can't figure it out. But I know it means something very important in terms of antisocial personality syndrome. Maybe later it'll come to me. Then, though, I think it has something to do with this business of, uh, like, deeply repressed sexual desire in some people who are uh, exhibit antisocial personality disorder, and uh, how they sometimes um, use symbols uh, to represent, like, their phallus, for instance, uh, and insert, like, a foreign object into somebody else because they consider the sexuality to be beneath them or bad and yet they have the drive to do that and so it's a way of like whizzing around the situation is to symbolically perform the act. For instance, the act of spitting on someone uh, who's kneeling to, to you might be considered a symbolic act of um, ejaculation the act of inserting a pen into an orifice of a, of a child might be considered a symbolic rape or sexual intercourse. And again, I don't know how that's explained in psychology, but I feel it has to do with this other thing. It's something about symbolic. I'll tell you another thing that's, that happens, that I've noticed happened on, on the astral plane and that had to do with voodoo and voodoo dolls and that whole notion which has, a, I feel, a deep subconscious basis. It represents a principle of the deep subconscious mind. They feel that they can take a voodoo doll and put pins in it, you know, and then it will affect the person that the doll represents. And then taking this one step further, antisocial personalities sometimes apparently um, take a person and degrade their astral matter to the point where they're very susceptible to mind control and the mind control of the antisocial personality feels as that of the collective unconscious uh, flowing through him. So anyway, the uh, antisocial personality or ASP feels the collective unconscious or unconscious thought cloud of the world flowing through his uh, his mind and into the mind of the person that's that's mind control. So therefore, their uh, their astral matter is degraded and their soul begins to receive soul wounding. And uh, this is then this then the instinctively the antisocial personality uses these people who have been mind controlled. And um, you see my other art article or blog on um, spiritual adept shortcuts. Yeah, um, these people that have been degraded or made into donkeys carrying the, the dark energies or donkified, you could say, uh, they uh, represent kind of like the voodoo dolls, only they're alive. 
In other words, they're victims of voodoo who can be used to transport the dark energies of the antisocial personality into other people in the world. They could be, for instance, his arms and legs if he's bound down for some reason in a particular locale, say in jail. So then now back to other forms of symbolic passing on of energy. Uh, it seems to me like the antisocial personality may feel that all the objects and people in the world are like but tools for through which his energy passes, altering the world that he sees. Um, so for instance, if he were to get a donkified person, a voodooized person, a voodoo, what do you call it, undead person, to, um, to perform in a movie uh, that represented like evil, such as serial killing, then that would be, to his mind perhaps, a flowing through of what he considered to be himself, the collective unconscious or subconscious, what he considered to be himself in like a state of ego or a state of not recognizing the individuality of anything but himself, this energy flowing out of him through another person that he considers to be a thing or an animal or an object and from that person being represented on a screen at, that would then affect and donkify other people, maybe millions of people, maybe the entire world, in the image that he has of himself as, uh, say, Satan, you know.